Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Product Overview, Blue Jeans, Virtual Events for Town Halls, All Hands, Marketing Webinars, and Large Scale Video Production. My name is Maggie Bliss, and I will be your moderator this morning, which means I'll usually be behind the scenes all during this presentation. But I'm very excited to be joined by our Blue Jeans Senior Product Marketing Manager, uh, Justin McKeffey, who will walk you through the power of the Blue Jeans Events product. So before we kick things off, there's a few housekeeping items I'd like to go over. First, we are using the Blue Jeans Events product, so what Justin will be talking about. So all of you as attendees are in a one-way viewing experience, but that doesn't mean you can't interact with us. Um, there's multiple ways. One, you can use the chat bubble. Um, that's the group chat. So feel free to put in a hello, say where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear. And if you have any questions, you can throw them in there, or you can throw them in the last icon, which is the Q&A chat feature and we will uh, address those questions at the end or Justin will pick through them as he's doing his presentation. If you're having any technical issues or you just wanna chat with me specifically, you can use the little moderator chat icon, which will have a little picture of a person with the chat bubble and I will help walk you through those. So lastly, the session is being recorded and I will send it to everyone after the event. And with that, Justin, I will pass it over to you. All right, thank you, Maggie. And thank you everybody that's joining us today. I'm curious, where is everybody from? I, I sent out a note in the chat a second ago. Looks like Emily from Tampa, Florida. Gladys from Dana Point, California. Jasmine from Indianapolis. Ten from Ohio. Tamir from Atlanta. Derek from Illinois. Philadelphia from Dave. Great to see everybody. And uh, please don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Use the chat. Use the Q&A. And I'll try and get, a, get to all of these questions as I go through the product demo here. I'll flip back and forth between the demo itself and also just audience Q&A. So just kind of free form, whatever's on your mind regarding Blue Jeans events, uh, I do encourage you to chime in and we'll, we'll go through some of that stuff. And so with that, we'll launch in here and uh, go into this product demo. I'll share my screen and uh, walk you through a couple of things very specific to and I think unique to Blue Jeans events. And uh, we'll start off kind of with our overall product mantra and what it is this solution can do. We think of Blue Jeans events as production grade video streaming. And so we service a variety of different use cases with this platform, anything from all hands and internal presentations like large scale town halls to virtual training events. And that could be sales enablement, that could be HR compliance or employee onboarding, things like that across different departments in large organizations. And then video production itself, typically for the external streaming use case, think about panel discussions and multi-party video speaking presentations where you've got a round table of different thought leaders in an industry addressing a very large group of people. And then also marketing webinars in the traditional sense, pretty much like what we're doing right now uh, to talk about Blue Jeans. But we've got a variety of customers that use Blue Jeans events for marketing purposes too. And uh, that's something that we, we certainly can do a little bit differently based on the different items on the right hand side here. So I'll walk through these. On the attendee experience side, we like to think of this solution as capable of really strong video interactivity. So rather than just a purely one-way viewing experience, we've got multiple presenters that can join on video, and we also have the ability to allow attendees to get promoted into the presenter position. I'll break that down in more detail in just a moment, but it does add this different collaborative type of environment to a traditional webcasting experience that brings more people into the conversation and hopefully makes that message resonate with an even larger group of people. Um, ad in addition to that, we can join from any conference room system, desktop or mobile device from BlueJeans events. And so that means if you're hosting an event from any hardware solution or endpoint in the form of a conference room or hardware, camera equipment, things like that. We interoperate with all of those different solutions. And this is a download free experience. And so for the attendee, just like you joined today, you simply click that invitation link and then you're watching this experience through the browser of your choice. On the administrative side, moderator controls are very unique to BlueJeans events in the form of our moderator dashboard. And I'll show you that in pretty granular detail in just a moment, but you'll quickly see, I think, this level of control when it comes to event management. And then additionally, we've got reporting and integrations with a number of different applications and a number of different streaming solutions that we integrate with to broaden the reach and maximize the reach of your broadcast. And so that's kind of the five pillars that makes BlueJeans events stand out. And so with all of that, I'm gonna show you the product demo from the perspective of the event organizer. 
Now that could be an AV manager that represents a production house. That could be an IT manager or someone in the IT department at a large enterprise or uh, any size enterprise, or even a marketing manager that's responsible for weekly or monthly webinars. So when you log into your My Blue Jeans account, this is what you see. And I'll just show you here in a couple of quick steps what it takes to get your event off the ground. So first, I'll just title this little test event Blue Jeans event demo. Below that, here's the general description of your event. And this is what all of your participants and invitees see in their email inbox the way that you summarize the event and what they can expect. Select your date and time and select repeat event if this is a recurring type of a webinar, either weekly or monthly. And then just like that, you get to set up these different customizable features for your event itself. So what type of an event are you hosting? There are two different types in this respect. So on the one hand, a public event, typically that's selected for large scale marketing webinars. If you're inviting the public, either your group of prospects or current customers that you'd like to join the event, you don't want to limit access to those folks. I mean, you certainly want to promote to them and get registration data from them, but you don't want to limit those folks that can join. On the flip side of that, we've got restricted event access. That's different. That's for large scale, like internal meetings. So big town halls and all hands presentations and things like that. Imagine any proprietary internal information that's being shared and you want to keep unwanted participants out you would select the restricted event option. And that allows you to only allow in those invitees with a certain domain so that unwanted people can't join your event. Require registration, entirely up to you, depends on the event. But with this, with this option, you can create different customizable fields about uh, the name of your participants, where they're coming from, the business size they represent, the organization they represent, completely up to you when you customize that registration form. And then below that, you have the option to select different settings and different features within the event itself, um, allowing people to join from any endpoint and room system. TIP and H323 systems is what we support if you select that option. Also phone dial-in if you'd like your participants to join that way via audio. Um, and then here's all of your interactivity and engagement tools. And from this interface, you really do have complete command over the level of communication that your participants will have during the event itself. So Maggie and I have selected event chat today because we want everybody to be able to be a part of the dialogue and uh, participate in the event experience. But you can simply turn that off if you don't want, oh, either rogue commentary or you don't wanna have maybe too much chatter from the audience. You can, you can certainly turn that off if you want to. Attendee search, same thing, giving attendees the option to look through different members and different guests that have joined that event. Uh, sometimes you want events to be a little bit more anonymous, so turn that feature off. Questions and Q&A, we certainly have that going today because we wanna hear from everybody, but you've got the option to either keep the auto approval process on, or you can take that off. And what I mean by that is, if somebody asks a question and auto approval is on, that means the second that question is submitted, everybody in the audience on the Q&A box, they can see that question that was asked. But if you want to add some additional security, you can unselect auto approval, and that means the moderator first gets to choose if they want to answer that question, if they want that to be alive in the public forum. If it's a rogue, strange question, a crazy question, thing like that, uh, you can have that level of security and delete the question before the rest of the audience sees it. Auto recording, we've got that selected. Uh, the raise hand feature, uh, that's great to encourage attendee dialogue and attendee engagement during the event. More on that in a moment. Closed captioning, attendee count, a uh, number of other features as well. And so that's just a quick breakdown about some of these different interactivity features. And just like that, you can get your event placeholder scheduled in a few moments time. Um, so already in my inbox as an organizer, I've been alerted that this is on the books for this test event. Um, one thing I'm gonna show you as well about the different participant roles is that BlueJeans Events divides these three different ways. You've got presenters, moderators, and attendees. So think of the presenters as the different thought leaders that join your event, or maybe members of leadership within your organization. It's their job to show up and focus on their talk track rather than the event logistics. Let's leave the event logistics to the moderator. The moderators get a completely different user interface 
with access to different event communications within a single pane of glass. And I'll, I'll show you how that looks momentarily. And then finally, on the attendee side, this link is what you copy and share out with your audience so that they can uh, join the event, just like everybody has today. And so I'll show you the way these different things look. And I think before I do, I might quickly go into the chat. Let's see, let's see what we got going on here in the chat and the Q&A. And then I'll show you what a couple of these different features look like. Uh, more hellos from all over the country. Uh, good to see everybody. But we've got a couple here in the Q&A. Let's see. So Robbie asks, when somebody shares their screen in BlueJeans events right now, they no longer see anyone else on camera. Is there a way to share your screen, but also see the other presenters and moderators? Robbie, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, having multiple moderators can help mitigate this. Um, but in terms of that level of control, it is it is one of those features that we've got on the roadmap so that there is no blind spot for the, the moderator. But I do know what you're talking about with that. And then let's see here, Joe. Any chance events will add a virtual background for presenters and moderators? Yes, on the short-term roadmap as well. Um, not to cop out, but that is, that is the answer. That is, that's the best answer I can give. But in the not so distant future, we will offer that. Okay, so keep them coming, please, folks, uh, in the in the chat. Would love to keep answering these. I'm gonna I'm gonna charge along here and keep going into the demo, but I'll show you what the rest of the interface looks like. Share screen, and here we are. Okay, so remember a second ago I told you about those different participant roles. This is the moderator interface, and this is what I can see right now. So everything on my end is designed so that I've got total visibility into everything that's going on in the event, be it chat and polling on one side, being, uh, be it the uh, event Q&A on one side, and then also screen share and content share as well. And so from this single pane of glass, I can easily navigate. Looks like we pushed out a poll a second ago. I'm already getting results back. How are you using your virtual event technology? Lots of folks on the call having internal presentations at 60%. Marketing webinars, uh, only a slim 5%, and large-scale streaming events for 35%. So cool to hear from everybody and uh, keep keep the votes coming and the answers coming, and we'll, we'll keep checking in on that. Um, as well in this pane, I can access the Q&A. Um, I can mark on my end if a question has been answered or unanswered. Um, and also, one very cool thing is that you can prioritize which questions deserve the most attention. Maybe there's some, some popular question that lots of people have voted and liked. You're essentially upvoting as an attendee to alert the moderator and the speakers, hey, lots of attention on this question. Why don't we address that one first? So uh, definitely a good point there. And then from the top here uh, on the participant side, we talk about event management on the moderator dashboard. This is very important. So let's say in this event, we invite 20 presenters to speak on camera. Sometimes, you know, there's background noise or somebody's baby's crying or the dog is barking or something like that. Well, it's very easily as an event manager to quickly silence that and disable either their camera or their audio source from this interface. So, you know, remove the risk of distraction by simply quieting those folks down if they need to be at the time. You've got that level of control and management from the back end here. Um, in the center here, this is the content sharing option. I'm currently sharing my screen. I'm also gonna share a video here in a couple of minutes. And uh, everyone in the event chat that has chimed in. So this is what I can see through my interface. On the left-hand side, if we had multiple speakers on the call today, I could, sh I could change the video layout options. So either in the gallery view, we could see nine people on camera at a time, or these different active speaker views, where in this case, the most recent speakers will appear the largest in the middle of the screen, and then the, the other speakers who spoke next to that person would appear on the panel on the bottom, or just one single speaker on camera at a time. So entirely up to you. And then we're gonna flip back, and I'm gonna show you what the other participant roles look like. So just remember a moment ago what I showed you on the moderator inf interface. Again, all of that designed so that the event managers have total visibility over the logistics of the event, the communication. But if you're the speaker that showed up for the event and it's your job to focus on your talk track and your slide share presentation, 
I, don't worry about the event logistics. Let the managers take care of that. That means there's a very simplified, easy to navigate presenter experience. Where on the right-hand side, yes, you can still communicate with the audience, but in general, the large screen in the middle, what you can see, it's all right there. It's in your face. It's easy to navigate, and there's no confusion about where to find what. It's everything is uh, right there in front of you so that you can focus on the delivery of your content. Um, similarly, what everyone can see today on the attendee side, this is the attendee interface. Uh, generally, it is a one-way viewing experience unless you raise your hand, and then you get to be promoted into the presenter position. And so, well, here's a good segue, and I'll explain exactly how that works. So bringing attendees into the conversation, a very cool aspect of Blue Jeans events. So we've got the capability with this product to invite up to 150 on-camera presenters in any given event. And so how it normally works in a traditional webinar or webcast format is that that's, a, that's purely a one-way viewing experience. It's just like a, a, a television type of a model where there's people speaking on TV and then the people at home in the audience, they're watching in a one-way viewing experience. But why would we contain these events to only one-way viewing when nowadays, I mean, people like to chime in. They like to appear on camera, make commentary, uh, you know, add their own opinions, ask questions. And obviously, in, in the past year, we've all become a lot more comfortable working in front of a camera. We're all on webcams all day. Um, so with the permission of a moderator, if an attendee has raised their hand, they promote them to the presenter position, they can speak on camera, and then after that series is done, the moderator can then demote them back to the attendee position. As well, a quick note about reaching your audience and connecting with different viewers across different platforms, Blue Jeans Events integrates with Facebook Live. It integrates as well with Workplace by Facebook and also with YouTube Live. And so, like everything, it depends on what type of an event you're hosting, but as an attendee, you don't necessarily need to view it through Blue Jeans events. If you'd like to throw a larger net over your audience and try and reach even more viewers, stream your live content through your YouTube page or your Facebook Live page, and they can simply watch it from those social media channels. So it's kind of about end user flexibility in that sense, where Anybody can join regardless of uh, the platform they choose to join from. Okay, and then speaking of flexibility, quality streaming for any user, any user friction-free host or join from anywhere, um, any operating system. If you're a presenter or an attendee, you can simply join through Apple, through a mobile device, through Windows, completely up to you. It depends on uh, what you're currently using. And then any browser. There's no download. There's no... Uh, you know, desktop experience where you need to download something in advance or get prompted to download something the second you join the link. All you had to do today was click on the invitation link and you can watch this experience through the browser of your choice. Any endpoint, this is the BlueJeans interoperability story. As I've said, H323 and SIP systems through Polycom, LifeSize, Cisco, Logitech, Yealink, you name it. Um, if you're joining as a presenter and speaking in a conference room, you can broadcast through that conference room system and reach your audience on the other side. Um, or as attendees, you can also consume that content in a conference room system. And I think the coolest use case that I can think of when it comes to the, the conference room systems, I remember when we first, I first started at BlueJeans a few years ago, you know, we've got offices all over the world. And, uh, you know, I joined one day from the San Francisco office and the CEO was talking. And on that call, we had all of the boardrooms from all of our different office locations all over the world. We had the London office, we had the Orange County office, we had San Francisco, we had folks joining from home. And what it did was it, it created this tremendously transparent and collaborative experience because you just immediately said, oh, wow, I, I know that guy. I met that guy at sales kickoff. And you can see him in the boardroom in uh, the other part of California or New York or wherever they were joining from. Um, so it, it kind of creates this really cool environment where you're, you're truly creating community out of your internal presentations for the town hall use case. So kind of a cool thing to do there. And then finally, any setting. Dolby Voice is integrated with BlueJeans events. Minimize and remove all of that background noise so that the presenter can be hear, heard loud and clear with intelligent audio. Uh, branding and customization, a quick note about this. As an event admin, when you're setting up your event, you have the option to customize the email add your logo, change the content within the email, also change the welcome screen 
or the goodbye screen after the event has ended with your logo, with a different quick little message that you can add to that, change the color scheme of the landing page, change the color of the buttons, um, add any different customizable logo and branding that you'd like so that there is an end-to-end -end continuous marketing experience uh, no matter what type of an event you're hosting. Post-event reports, also incredibly important, uh, no matter what type of, of an event you're hosting internally for big all-hands events, if you're the HR communications or IT manager putting those together, well, after the event has concluded, you get this very easy, easy to consume Excel file, who joined, how long do they watch for, how did they ask, answer the polls, what questions did they ask, all of that is contained in the Excel document. And then on the marketing side, if you have required registration and a few hundred people signed up for your event, well, you certainly want to follow up with those different attendees, especially if they chimed in. Did they ask a question? How'd they answer the poll? Um, and the really cool complement to all of that data that you receive in the Excel is what we refer to as the engagement index. Cool feature for event organizers. So what this allows you to do is you receive scores for all attendees on a scale of zero to 100 based on how they participated and how engaged they were during your event. And so this is a weighted average between whether or not they asked a question and they participated either through chat, Q&A, or polling. Also the duration, did they watch the whole event or did they check out after five minutes? And then finally, the focus, was the Blue Jeans events window the primary application open during the entire event experience? And if they score very high, you know, they get an 80 or 90% out of 100. Well, from a marketer's perspective, probably worth reaching out to that person or at least treating them a little bit differently because, yes, you made a connection with them, they listened to your content, and uh, you caught their attention. So uh, definitely helpful and help steer the ship in terms of who, who's actually interested in uh, what it was you talked about. So with that, I'm going to go into a couple of customer stories here. And uh, just to quickly summarize, you know, interactivity and engagement, something that we take seriously. This product was architected so that as many people as possible can be a part of the conversation. They can consume the content to address kind of the modern needs of uh, communication and knowledge sharing, no matter what type. And so uh, that was just a breakdown of some of those features. And, you know, we've got the customers to prove it as well. Um, here's a quick look at the Indy 500 drivers meeting. This happened at the end of last summer. Um, you know, this, a bit of context, like many places, how do you suddenly change your on-site event and transform it into a virtual or a hybrid event? Well, Indy 500 did that very, very well with Blue Jeans events. So what the Indy 500 does before the big race, the day before the race, is they invite uh, VIPs and different members in their community into this on-site race car tour. And so it's a great fan marketing event. And so they needed to create this new online experience and they, choose, they chose to use Blue Jeans events for it. Um, what they did was they live streamed Blue Jeans events through their YouTube channels, through Twitter, um, and through their website as well to bring all of their fans together so they could still see what these cars look like, you know, 33 different race cars that were involved in the Indy 500 so that, you know, they didn't keep their fans in the dark. They still accommodated them. It's a little bit different. They used blue jeans instead of being on site, but it certainly, you know, elevated the perception of, of the racers and the drivers the day before the event to keep interest high. And then the next day, the Indy 500 happened. So uh, certainly a successful use of the product. And, uh, you know, they had a good experience doing it. Illumina, introducing the new CEO. So different use case. This is for the internal audience. Um, but what happened was a couple of years ago, Illumina, Blue Jeans customer, they introduced their brand new CEO and they needed to do so in a very welcoming environment with high participation for all of their 8,000 employees spread across seven different countries all over the world. So again, like I mentioned, rather than just having a one-way webcasting experience, they wanted those endpoints in those different office environments all over the world to be able to chime in, ask questions, address this brand new CEO, um, voice their concerns, make a comment, uh, et cetera. And so they were able to successfully do that by bringing everybody together with Blue Jeans events. So a successful launch of the event. And uh, according to the CIO of Illumina, they've done a virtual town hall every month since then because it went off without a hitch. So a great use case for the internal story. And then with all of that, 
I am going to show you one last customer story here. It's a video and some quick context about this. This is BlueJeans customer. This is Virgin Hyperloop, and they successfully conducted their first passenger test, and they streamed it with BlueJeans events. And so with that, we'll show you what it looked like. Virgin Hyperloop was thrilled to debut their first manned test of their revolutionary Hyperloop transportation system. The problem was COVID-19 prevented them from being able to hold an in-person celebration safely. Rather than miss a great opportunity to generate employee excitement and media interest, Virgin Hyperloop got creative with blue jeans. They developed a drive-in theater style experience. To manage the live stream, they turned to the Blue Jeans events platform. Using several fixed and mobile cameras for filming, Virgin Hyperloop's IT team used Blue Jeans events video pinning and layout features to pre-configure the live test. This allowed the team to switch seamlessly between video feed displays during the video broadcast. Pegasus, this is Capcom. Prepare for launch in 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, launch. The platform is so easy to use that Virgin Hyperloop was able to integrate in house technologies and create a high quality production with complete control of their own look and feel to showcase this innovation. Virgin Hyperloop wanted to put on the best show humanly possible during the history-making milestone of the first manned Hyperloop flight. With Blue Jeans technical assistance, it went off without a hitch. So great story. We love that one and uh, you know, no shortage of creativity terms of bringing all of their employees together, the media together, different investors together, um, you know, even in a fairly short amount of time, getting it off the ground and creating this virtual and hybrid experience. So uh, we certainly applaud them and uh, a great use of the product. So, all right, so that's a quick look at some of the case studies and, and different customers that use our product. And now I'm gonna open this up to questions and please ask away. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the, the Q&A right here and I'll start going through a couple of these. Okay, so we will send out a recording of this as well as um, uh, Sandeep asks, please, when the event is done, send out uh, the recording. We will certainly do that. Okay, so Emily asks, does Blue Jean send out reminder notifications via dashboard email? Does the dashboard host all attendee info as they register, and can you do a landing page too? You bet. Uh, yes to all three of those. Does Blue Jean send out a reminder? Yes. So. Uh, when you're setting up your event, Emily, you've got the option to select send reminder 30 minutes before, and it'll automatically do it for you. You don't need to worry about it. You can send it through the BlueJeans product. You don't need to integrate with marketing automation. We do have the ability to integrate with several different CRM and marketing automation platforms, but if you want to handle all registration data through BlueJeans, you can do that. Um, the second part of that, does the dashboard host all attendee info as they register? Yes. And the cool thing about that is, I mean, if you're hosting a marketing event and let's say you're really targeting this one particular company hard, like, please attend. I hope they sign up. You can see as people are registering, you know, if you start promoting it two weeks in advance, a week before you're like, okay, has Acme Corporation signed up? Yes. You can see in your registration log if they have or not. And then landing page, you bet. And you can customize different fields, ask the questions that you'd like um, as people come to your landing page. Okay. Uh, David, how to introduce documents during a presentation, screen sharing or application sharing are your two options that way. Um, you can also share out links to materials on chat and, uh, you know, share different documents or website links and things like that with your audience through chat. Any limitations on presenters sharing audio and video? We ask that presenters have a minimum of two Mbps when it comes to broadcasting to ensure a high quality experience for video. So 
at the end of the day, that's going to boil down to that presenter's connectivity. If they're in a low bandwidth environment, as long as they, they have two Mbps, they will be all right. But um, I'll explain as well some bandwidth mitigation that we have with BlueJeans. If for some reason, you know, let's say a speaker joins with five out of five bars, it's crystal clear, everything's great to start off with, but then suddenly internet drops for whatever reason, we've got this adaptive bitrate option where the video portion will cut out completely, but the members of the audience will still see the screen share content and the audio. And the, the premise there and the thinking behind that is, if you're in a big you know, presentation, like a CEO town hall presentation, if they can't see the CEO for a few moments time, it's not the end of the world, but you still want your audience members to be able to listen to them and, and also consume their content. So uh, that's, that's one of those good, uh, we call that graceful degradation when it comes to connectivity issues during events. Okay. Joe. Promoting an attendee to a presenter is a three-step process. One, raise hand. Two, moderator accepts. And three, attendee accepts. Will this be streamlined to a one to two click process? Joe, to, to be totally frank with you, I don't think so. And to my knowledge, this isn't a roadmap item. And I see where you're coming from, where like that's a multi-step process, but it's one of those things where it's like, okay, re attendee raises hand, Moderator then says, all right, this person is prepared to speak, but then they get this second notification, that attendee, and it's basically the moderator's way of saying, are you sure? Are you really ready to appear on camera? So if nothing else, maybe it's an extra level of security to make sure that whoever did hit that button didn't do so by mistake. We'll probably keep it the way it is for now. Okay, so Kath asks, can MOV or MP4 movie files be screened in the live stream? Any issues with lag? What I just showed from Virgin Hyperloop was an MP4. We also accept MOVs. And I don't think there was a lag with that, but I will tell you on the moderator or presenter side, there is a time delay between the time that I speak and the time that you hear it. And all of that is dictated by a bandwidth for the end user. Um, that is because the content goes through what's called a content delivery network. And so it does take a few moments from it to, for it to get from me to you. So there is a touch of latency. It's not like a uh, immediate meeting experience. Can the stream be embedded on a web page? Absolutely it can. HTML codes can be generated as you set up your event. So if you're the event organizer, you can grab that HTML code and put it into the domain of your choice. That might be your homepage, your, your web page. It could be an intranet site. It could be, you know, Confluence or some, some sort of internal employee communication site. You can easily embed that so that attendees can watch wherever they'd like to rather than just through BlueJeans events. So it, that's up to you. And brand new, we, we just added closed captioning to the HTML embed experience. So that's pretty cool too. Okay. Uh, Terrence, are we able to rename uploaded videos? Often they come to us as one name, then we need to rename and even add a number to it so we can see. Uh, I would say make sure you title your videos and save them before you upload. That's probably a best practice. Okay, I'm clicking around here. Bear with me, folks. I think I got a, I got a direct question here. Will there be lower third name tags for speakers? Yes, on the roadmap with BlueJeans events. We currently have that with BlueJeans meetings. Will then asks, will there ever be a subgroup type feature that allows the moderator to send a pre-selected group live with one click? For instance, going from a single presenter to a panel discussion. Breakout sessions are on the BlueJeans events roadmap. Currently exist in BlueJeans meetings, but something the product team and the engineering team is working hard on. Uh, popular request from current customers. Okay, going through here. Good questions. Keep let's keep going here. If you if you guys have any, uh, happy to answer them. Go up here. Okay. Does the BlueJeans dashboard let you create your presentation, or do you have to load a PowerPoint? It's a screen share experience. So I literally updated those slides and iterated them a couple of minutes before the event. So the beauty there is you don't need to wait for a file to process within BlueJeans events. Just share your screen, either the single application or the entire screen, and you can share your content with the audience. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Max, can you break down the new features coming? Also, any insight on when we should expect to see those new features launch? I want to encourage you to join our product vision webinar and uh, more, our, I think, articulate uh, breakdown of exactly what's coming from BlueJeans will be available there. But we do have an exciting roadmap for the events product. Okay, is there any support available for BlueJeans prior to and during the event? Yes, we've got event management. It's called Event Assist. And so you can call on our support team through BlueJeans and you can arrange for a pre-event assistance. And so that means all speakers, all moderators, they're brought up to speed. You know, you can hash out any details, iron out any wrinkles well in advance. Um, that support person will also join you during the live event. And then after the event has concluded, we've got a post-event breakdown. And so that allows you to have a complete white glove experience from start to finish. Um, we encourage first time users to, to use event assistance, especially for you know big presentations with thousands of people. Our event assist folks have been doing it for years. They're very good at it. And uh, it's kind of one of those things like, after you sort of take it for a test drive with our support team, well, then you get the car keys after you're comfortable enough and you can do it on your own. or you know, lean on them again in the future, completely up to you. But uh, we, we certainly have offer remote and on-site assistance when uh, when the world isn't in pandemic mode, on-site anyway. Can videos be uploaded prior to the event? Yes, Yosef, uh, we uploaded the Hyperloop video right before the event. Okay, good questions. I'll I'll sort of pause, I think I got to most of these. But keep them coming if uh, you choose to do so. Okay. All right, everybody. I think we've got kind of a pause here. I might wrap this up. But I tell you what, we are going to share out a, a recording of this. So please take a look. And uh, as well as some information where you can get uh, you know, more of a breakdown about Blue Jeans events. But no matter what, we really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, reach out for questions. Happy to break down anything else here at Blue Jeans about about the events product, about use cases, about features, things like that. But uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and we appreciate your time. Take care.